everyone, I'm Christina McCauley and this is your PCTA. All of us here at the Public Cable Television Authority strive to bring you closer to the neighborhoods around you. So stay connected with your PCTA. Hi, how are you doing? This drive-up food pickup is the new normal, at least for now. The city of Westminster has found a way to transition to serve seniors in the community even during a pandemic. This dining room was full. Um, we would serve approximately 180 meals a week. Post-COVID, we are doing approximately 1,500 meals a week. They're all frozen. Our, our meal provider, Orange County Meals on Wheels, stepped up to the challenge. This also required an internal shift to make everything happen seamlessly for seniors to continue being served. Okay, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah. Additional staff had to be trained to take on the increased number of meals that were being distributed. We had to purchase additional equipment, such as a freezer, to store additional frozen meals. So all these pieces fell in line with a matter of days, literally, in a matter of days, as, this, as we started to see the need increase in our community. Fortunately, Diana Daubert tells us government funding covered the additional costs needed to make this happen. And she is thankful for the support of her team. Thank you, Eric. I am so proud of the community services staff that we have. Folks aren't doing the jobs they were hired to do. They're being asked to do duties that they weren't familiar with prior to, but through training and seeing the need of our seniors, they rose to the occasion to accommodate the needs in our community. You have a wonderful day. You too. Good to see you guys. <laughs> see you next week. All right. Up Pam Gremling's role was planning special events. <laughs> With the pandemic, our events are no longer existent as of today. And so I've come over to the Senior Center to help deliver the meals. Um, I have delivered the meals to homes a couple times, but now I work with the drive through program. And this has given her a whole new purpose. There you go. Hello. Hi. It's nice to have a bond with them, get to know their name, ask how they're doing, uh, if they have family, ask how their family's doing. It's, it's very rewarding. Among the participants and an active volunteer when the Senior Center was open is Leo Lefevre. Well, I started coming here because my friend that I worked with was playing the piano and singing. So he says, why don't you come and socialize it? Well, and I kept putting it off. Finally, I came over and the best thing I ever did. So that was over 10 years ago. I've been keeping busy, but I miss this. I miss this place. Oh, I know. Leo misses the center and the staff, but still gets to see them every week when he picks up his meals. Thank you so Well, I appreciate it. It helps me maintain a good diet. Bye, Leo. Bye, Leo. Bye. And I do get to talk a little bit to the people here, but I'm getting anxious to come back permanent. You know, so. The city understands this and has been and continues to do monthly events from parades to donut socials in a socially distanced and safe way. When this pandemic's over, that because of the increased folks that we're serving, we will be inviting them back to the Senior Center to participate in our activities. So um, there's, uh, there's definitely a silver lining. For more information on this program, you can call the City of Westminster. For your PCTA, I'm Jacqueline Twag. Stanton, we're about to see something completely new for the city and surrounding communities. 
not the old fashioned 60, 70 small. It's like gigantic. It's all like open space, loft style, warehouse, like you're in New York. Woo! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open it up. Open! The uniqueness of this menu here is never been tried before in the state of California. Uh, it's a blend of eateries, uh, shops, we got an entertainment stage, we got ping pong and TV out back, indoor outdoor dining. The coolest thing that I noticed right away is that, you know, there's so many things to do and you can tell by the way people are dressed. You see some people in cool fancy, you know, nice attire and some people in sandals, you know, so it's just really diverse everywhere. The, the places, the people, everything. It's cool. Dan Almquist with Frontier Real Estate Investments, the developers behind this project, takes us on a tour. Uh, we have, I think, the best chefs and creators of food in our town. For us, the big thing was diversity. You know, even before a lot of the things that are taking place right now, but, you know, Orange County is a melting pot and, and just an opportunity for a lot of people from different backgrounds and colors and all different things to come together and do something really special. The visual appeal just as important to the space. Working with Southern California artists, murals fill the walls indoors and out. And one of the things that was important to us was, was art. You know, we think that art adds uh, you know, depth and uh, you know, just interest. It's a true public market. I think the idea was kind of an ode to years past. You know, smaller merchants, um, you know, we, have, we obviously are food centric, but we have retail, so the bakery, we have a florist, a butcher. The restaurants they pulled in are wonderful. We've been sneaking in here before the grand opening and testing, tasting different places, and it was just amazing. So we're thrilled. I mean, projects that work out this well are rare and far few between. And then there are unexpected experiences. Skin Design Tattoo features a renowned tattoo artist. Robert Foe, the, the owner, uh, is kind of universally recognized as you know, one of, if not the top tattoo artists in the nation. And uh, his team is amazing. Another visual experience soon to open is Utopia Studios, a virtual reality arcade. Another first for the area. You can do many different things. You can draw, you can have um, 3D art, uh, you can play a game, you can shoot aliens, you can, um, you know, gosh, you can throw dodgeball at each other, you can play volleyball, you can go on runs and sprints, you can exercise, you can box. You can do many, many, many different things all right here within these four walls. When it's time to relax and have a beer, you can see the ones who are crafting it for you right in front of you. I think that the brewery is uh, very unique. It's the first brewery in Stanton, Bearded Tang. Uh, the, the two brewers there are award-winning. Uh, they were brought over, both head brewers, at different uh, facilities in Orange County. Um, and they're already putting out some award-winning beers. Everyone can see inside of a kitchen. You can see inside of the beer manufacturing. There's nothing really for us to hide. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. A lot of people peeking in through the windows. So it's it's exciting for us. Another level of excitement is seeing firsthand the customers they serve. We can literally do a beer with every single different tenant in here, something that pairs well with everybody's uh, certain dish at everybody's uh, location. And that's been a, a fun and unique experience for the guests as well. I think being able to come in, say, hey, I just had something from uh, this restaurant. Do you have a beer that pairs with it? And we, we do. There's also Rodeo Bar with craft cocktails to try. And for foodies, this is for you. Yeah, I could go down the line, uh, and I'm looking at, you know, Hiro Nori right in front of me here. You know, Hiro is recognized in Michelin rating book that they put out. Uh, there's just a ton of award-winning chefs in here. It's a place you can come and, and you know, come again, and, and that's what we've heard, is people want to come back, they want to try the next place. I'm a huge foodie, so I, this is so exciting to see like all of this come in one area, and you get so many options, so many choices, and not just the food, but you know, the retail, and you get you know, the nail salon and the arcade, there really is something for everybody. Rodeo 39 is open for business and located at 12885 Beach Boulevard in Stanton. For your PCTA, I'm Jacqueline Twegg. 
Thanks for joining us here at your PCTA. Check back again soon to stay connected. I'm Christina McCauley. We'll see you next time.